Yes. So you come home from work, you have nothing in the refrigerator to eat, you don't want to run out to get fast food, no pizza in the freezer. I'm going to show you how to make a quick and easy five can casserole. We're talking about cans today. All you have to do is open a few cans. And we're going to start with one can of cream of mushroom soup. So just keep these cans on hand in your pantry and you can whip up this casserole in no time and it's actually really good. One can of cream of mushroom, one can of cream of chicken. And you know what? This casserole is very forgiving. So, um, you know, it'll all work out wonderfully. So if you're not a big fan of cream of mushroom, you could do cream of celery and cream of chicken or two cans of cream of chicken, two cans of cream of mushroom. It's totally up to you, whatever you like. So just make sure you have a couple cans of cream of something in the pantry. All right, one five ounce can of evaporated milk. This is great in case you don't have milk in the fridge, don't have to run out to the store to get it. And this is not the sweetened condensed milk, this is evaporated milk, so a five ounce can of that. One 12 ounce can of tuna, or you can actually use canned chicken breast. And if you don't have a 12 ounce can, if you have one of the little guys, you could use two of those, or you could just use one little guy one little can, a five ounce can. It's really forgiving, but just make sure and drain it really well, whether you're gonna use tuna or chicken. Doesn't matter. I happen to love tuna casserole, so we're gonna use tuna today. We're just gonna mix this up quick. I'm telling you, you can throw this casserole together in minutes or if you just find out you've got to go to something and bring a dish to pass all right our fifth can is the chow mein noodles and they're going to go on top one cup of sour cream hopefully you've got some of that in your refrigerator some garlic powder and basically that's your casserole I'm going to mix that all together and it looks very liquidy right now but it's going to bake and be wonderful and we're going to serve this on top of noodles or rice so right into our greased 9 by 13 pan, goes into a preheated 325 or 350 degree oven, bakes for about 25 minutes. Now after about 25 minutes, you'll see it's kind of bubbly and looking good. You're going to throw, because I never met a casserole that didn't like cheese, a couple cups of shredded cheddar cheese. Again, this is after it bakes. Then here comes the fifth can. Some of those wonderful, yummy, I love these crunchy chow mein noodles for a little crunch. I like some crunch with my tuna casserole. And then for a little bit of color, and if you don't have these, not a big deal, you can leave them out. A little bit of diced pimento. This is just jarred pimento, or you could do red pepper. But again, if you don't have that, not a big deal. All right, come back with me. I've got some noodles boiling here. I want to give those a quick drain. It's all about keeping a few things in your pantry. And then when you come home after a really long day and you need dinner in a hurry and you're starving, the family's starving, you can kind of pull this one out of the hat. I'm just using egg noodles because you know what? We've got a tuna casserole and my mom always served tuna casserole with egg noodles, noodles, but rice would be great too. Even mashed potatoes this could go on top of. This is bubbly and wonderful. See the cheese is browning up so nice. Oh, that looks good. Hot, 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 right out of the oven. Now let's get this to the plate here. Hmm. This is, I'm, I love casseroles. I'm kind of the queen of casseroles. Casseroles, I think, get a bad rap, but you know what? It's real food and it's good food. Get some of the cheese. Look at that ooey, gooey, and wonderful. Some of the tuna. Some of those crunchy noodles. I don't know about you, but I'm a happy camper. Oh yeah, look at that. Find me a fork. We'll dress this casserole up a little bit with a little bit of parsley. And how about that? Who knew a five can casserole could be that good? You gotta give this recipe a try, really. Keep these five cans on hand and you're good to go.